All right, so here's a quick update on our spring vegetable garden. Uh, their winter is hopefully gone by now. Um, I think about all but winter is over. We're sure we'll have a few more light freezes, but all this week we're gonna be in the mid 70s after this crazy late winter, way below average temperatures. We're now all week supposedly gonna be in the mid 70s. It's gorgeous outside. It's time to get some stuff going in the garden, check on our stuff that has been planted, make sure it survived all these crazy freezes and frosts, and time to plant potatoes. As you can see here, I got my potatoes cut and uh, ready to plant. If you look closely here, they got, uh, they're starting to sprout. Uh, I've done a, a video a while back last year on how to plant potatoes. I would highly recommend you check that video out if you really want to learn about uh, planting, growing, and harvesting your potatoes. I'll be doing a lot more um, referencing my previous videos because um, I don't want to repeat the same things over and over again in my new videos here and whatnot. So uh, check out the links in my description or on the video when I uh, reference a past video that I've done and you can learn a lot more detailed information. Over here is the stuff we had planted earlier, onions and spinach is coming along. It, it uh, did just fine in all that cold, cold weather. The onions are struggling a little bit. Some of them have fallen over. I need to get them, prop them back up uh, after we had them covered up just to make sure they were okay. And uh, as you can see over here, some of this, um, this is a deal and chives, fennel. It's looking a little bit droopy, but it, it will be okay as it's not completely dead just yet. All this week is going to be beautiful weather, so we will most likely start growing finally come down this way we got our cilantro coming along just fine then over here on this row I've got a a, a nice selection of variety of uh, lettuces that we've uh, recently planted transplanted and they're uh, coming up doing great over here let me show you these uh, onions these are the uh, onion sets this is the first year I tried these onion sets and they are starting to sprout as you can see here um, so we'll see how this goes first year to uh, grow these onion sets I usually do it like this way over here where we got our onion uh, transplants or starters and that's how we usually grow them but uh, this year I've got a great deal on these for almost dirt cheap and they're starting to sprout so uh, We'll be having quite a bit of onions this year. And over on this end, I got to all of our different varieties of uh, Swiss chard uh, that we had planted, and it uh, did get nipped some. But as you can see, there is uh, plenty of new uh, growth that is not dead, so this plant will come back alive just fine. And some of the smaller ones, they're gonna be okay, I think, too. As you can see, we planted a lot more Swiss chard this year for since we're gonna feed it to our chickens and we're also gonna eat it too. Here's some of our garlic still coming along just fine. Gotta get out here and uh, pull up a few weeds. We've got uh, it covered in uh, of native mulch. If you've seen that previous video, I'm posting that on uh, planting all that stuff. So the garlic is looking quite nice and it'll be ready in the mid spring, I believe. So we'll have plenty of garlic coming along pretty soon. All right, so here's our plan for uh, this spring's uh, vegetable garden. We've already got quite a few things planted. First row, the nice variety of uh, items. Swiss chard and beets and uh, dill, fennel, and we got some leftover onions we planted here. We've got uh, two rows of onions here. And then this row here is uh, broccoli and spinach and uh, some uh, Brussels sprouts in the back that have been planted since uh, early, early fall. And then here in these two rows is where my potatoes are gonna go. Over here we got our cilantro in the front and these are the onion sets in the back side. Over in this row I have uh, some lettuce seeds 
and I think there's some beets on the back end planted so uh, and they're starting to sprout now here and a few more lettuce here all this lettuce will be already harvested by the time I'm ready to use these uh, three rows right here because these three rows as you can see they're spaced a little bit more apart and this is because we're going to plant our tomatoes here in these three rows and then we come down I have two more rows at this end I got to get my sugar snap peas in and put my trellises in here and um, maybe green beans or who knows whatever else we can stuff in this garden so technically our garden is uh, pretty much filled up uh, you know it's already half filled up got to save space for the tomatoes and about mid March we're gonna put those out actually a feed store already listed on Facebook that they already have tomato plants in stock which I was surprised about but a little bit early really to plant and then over here of course won't be doing nothing till this is in uh, probably about April before we plant that out with squash and stuff and our uh, melons this year so there's the plan also I'm going to be getting some mulch for this area uh, coming up here hopefully maybe this weekend or next weekend uh, we've got a landscape tree service that gives out free mulch native tree trimmings uh, has leaves the bark everything part of the tree ground up that's what we use back here in the uh, back beds where our blackberries asparagus and garlic is already out there growing and we're going to add this to all of our stuff here already as we have it planted uh, so this will be native tree trimming mulch here in the main garden bed last year if you've seen i had used the uh, landscape fabric uh, as a weed preventative which did great but uh this year um i'm going to try the, the mulch here um I'm sure we'll probably have some weeds because I have a huge weed, huge weed problem. Um, but uh, we're going to give it a shot out here in the main garden bed for the mulch. And I will probably still be doing the weed fabric over here on this side uh, for our melons and uh, squash and items and such. So there's a quick update on our garden. As you can see here, we do have a small fence around. We've had this around since before we actually built our main fence. We used to have a chain link fence around so the, the uh, rabbits would come in our yard and just destroy the garden. So we had to put a fence around it. But now we got chickens. And the chickens, uh, we don't want them in the garden either. Uh, because they'll just eat up everything and they have not figured out how to jump over the fence or fly through or over the fence either so one day I did forget to close this gate behind me when I was working out here and I turned around next thing I know I had all the chickens right next to me scratching up the garden so uh, if you got chickens uh, make sure you know where your chickens are and then of course over here this is all open I've got to add some more fencing so they cannot get to this area right now they're using it as a scratching bed and uh, eating all the uh, remnants of our winter uh, winter cover crop that we had planted out here earlier I don't think there's nothing left they've pretty much ate it all up so there's just a quick update on our garden progress thanks for everyone who subscribes thus far and uh, check out my uh, other videos if you want to learn more details about anything that we got growing or how to grow if you want to learn about the soil and how we've uh, amended our soil check out the past video on that I highly recommend it uh, so happy gardening hopefully it'll warm up where you are in your neck of the woods and stay tuned until next time one more thing let's check out our chicken coop and see if they've laid us any eggs I haven't checked today so let's see what's in here up oh, there they are look at this four eggs we've been averaging about three or four eggs every day as you can see here a nice uh, color variety there of our four chickens that have been laying this is the Americana and the green one is the Americana these two are the uh, why nots 
we got a golden laced and a silver laced why not and then this one in the back corner is the buff orpington egg so uh there's just a uh, quick update on our chicken eggs